Hello future Web3 frontend developers, welcome to this video and I'm going to discuss today how to set up a Next.js application with Rainbow Kit and Vagme. Um, really simple, really straightforward. I just want to um, just give you a practical practical um, guide how to do it. So in this project I set up a Next.js app already. Um, it's very easy and very straightforward. You can just um, execute npm create next and then the folder name like in whatever folder name you are here or if you write a dot it's gonna create the project inside of your current root directory um, so in next back, back me right now. But yeah I already set it up. You can execute it on your own. It's it's not, uh, not a magic trick. You can just execute and um, yeah, and if you need guide there as well, you can let me know. But I want to focus really on Web three, um, specifically on like front end. Um, and if you have any questions, if I have to go, if I if you want me guys to go into a deeper uh, in, a, in a in a concept or you want to know something, uh, just drop a comment down below, and I'm gonna review it and decide what decide. Uh, I will do the next video for for this about this concept. But yeah. For now, let's go to the installation page. Um, so, because I already have an app uh, set up, you go to manual setup, click on copy paste. Because we are using pmpm, uh, you're gonna change this command. You're gonna install. While this installing, we are looking at the at these these sections now. So import. Uh, we can take the imports and go into the app, create a new file, call it app. This has to be a client component. And then actually it's a cli uh, basically a client that's rendered client side. Um, let's create a component here that exports the default. Uh, we want to paste this imports here. Then we want to copy paste the configuration of Rainbow Kit. Um, here you can specify app name, project ID, chains, and whether your app uses server side rendering or not. If you want me to go like to really dive deeper into it, just let me know. But for now, it's just very um, it's basic implementation without any further more explanation. So you can you can start the, start the project and set it up on your own. Uh, so we need the query client as well here, of course. Uh, those are the providers. You are specifying query client um, from Tenstack React Query. Obviously, Vagme is using Tenstack React Query um, for querying and just changing um, states um, and, and contracts on block on the blockchain. That's done. So and here it's complaining because it's awaiting children here. That, uh, that is passed down from the layout. So let's specify props here. And obviously we want to pass down the children to, to the pages there then, you know. Um, if you go to layout, we want to include the app component inside our layouts so that we have the providers in the components tree in the page components tree um, so we want to import the app it is complaining because it's of course export default and now we should be set up um, if you go to the home page and then just clear out the return the code in the return statement the component and just put a main element and inside of the main element we want to test whether the connect button or the back me rainbow kit setup works so let me just render a connect button and start the server. Oh, 
um, of course, pmpm dev. Nice. Seems like I'm already connected because I was already working with it. But um, if I disconnect, oh, sorry. Uh, if I disconnect, no, it's like this. Yes, sir. But we want to undisconnect this. Okay. So if I disconnect, you see the connect wallet. Let's center this a bit, make it clearer to see. Um, nice. If you click on connect button, you see, boom, you have the integration here, the wallet integration. You can connect yourself with MetaMask. You can switch between the net mm, chains that we specified inside of the app component here. You can also, for example, only leave mainnet and base as options you have only two chains it's very uh, simple to use convenient and um, you can also explore here some button attributes options you can change the text you can say label connect now if you disconnect, you see the text change. You can also, there is a, oh sorry, there is a show balance mm, attribute. If you pass as true, you can see the balance show, shows basically, uh, but that's by default also true. So you don't have to pass um, show balance as true. But if you don't want to show balance, for example, you can just pass false and you don't see the balance anymore. Um, it's too <clears throat> true for now. You can also have you can also pass account status, and by default it's full, and that means that you are showing the avatar and the address as well. If you want, if you pass address, for example, you only show address. If you pass avatar. Obviously, what happens? You only see avatar. What we also can do is change status. Again, showing only icon, for example, showing, uh, showing only name or nothing. So, no chain. Uh, so, you, yeah, the, you are disabling the chain switching option, basically full shows both so you can play around it with uh, with it a bit um, that's that's it and you, you have also the option of uh, no actually it's it's the model model size you have to configure so you can change the model size so this the size of this entire entire component you can change it to let's say compact and it, it is getting it will get smaller as you can see the compact uh, version of it of the model you can see it's, it's getting smaller and the wide option is the default one which gets wider and if you test it if you go to layout um, not layout but app and go to rainbow provider and specify the model size you can see it's getting compact like smaller if you do wide obviously wide you also have different um, options in terms of uh, styling here you can for example import a dark theme from the rainbow kit you can specify dark theme here in the provider rainbow kit provider and if you connect now you see the dark the, the dark version of the of the model um, you can also have your customized colors and you can play around with it just pass an object and inside of the object you have these um, customizable attributes that you can use and um, yeah 
can just switch between several uh, just different visual styles and customize it. Um, I guess those are like the major major stuff. We can also yeah play around with the chains. Um, initial chain is the the attribute that basically um, specifies the chain that that's that supposed to that the user supposed to see as as a first chain when you um, when the user basically gets into the into the web app for the first time. Um, you can play around with with it as well. You can also customize for your chains the icons um, an icon background. Um, so instead of showing here, if you connect, instead of showing the icon here for base or for Ethereum, the Ethereum icon, you can change the icons as well and show something else. And this is meant um, actually for just custom chains that Rainbow does not, um, or not Rainbow, but Vagmin doesn't provide um, by default. Uh, on or from from the import here, you can just yeah j just use custom chain and then specify the URL here. Um, exactly. So and in terms of like language, you can also change it. Um, you can see right now it's like in English sw switch networks, and if you change it to let's say like um, just I don't know French, you can see it says yeah something change networks in, in French and you can play play around it, with it as well um, so what you can also do is implement authentication let me know if I should do a, another session another video about the authentication feature here because um, it takes a bit a bit to implement I just want to keep this video short um, and um, yeah um, let me know what I should do for the for the next video. I my plan was to implement a contract, um, with you can basically interact with the blockchain. Um, yeah, I was thinking to, yeah, just grab a USDC contract and just play around with it and show you how to read and write stuff. Um, and yes, and yeah, I think that's that's it. You will have the base like a base basic setup for, um. Vag me in Rainbow Kit if you follow this guide, uh, in Next.js of course, and um, yeah, drop drop like comments down below if you have anything, um, like any improvements to like suggest and uh, any idea you have, um, on what I should do as next, just drop down uh, down comments down below and let me know if it was it was useful as well the video, and I uh, hope you guys uh, have a nice day night wherever you are and uh, take care.